Hi everyone! Today I'll demonstrate the powerful PhotoFix. PhotoFix is a dedicated studio environment included in Photo Plus where you can quickly fix and enhance your photos and apply creative filters. To open PhotoFix, click the icon on the Photo Studio toolbar. The Filters pane on the right contains some commonly used filters. Today, I'm going to adjust the white balance in this photo. The white balance correction can be used to either cool down or warm up a photo simply by adjusting the lighting. To apply this filter to your photo, either choose a preset from the drop down list or adjust the sliders. You can see that my photo now looks much warmer. Notice that the square button next to the filter's name is now grey. This indicates that the filter is enabled. You can click this button to disable and re-enable the filter. To reset filter values, simply click the reset button. This button at the top of the dialog lets you switch to split screen mode, so you can see before and after versions of your photo. You can also use these tools to zoom in and out. The Favourites tab on the left is full of creative presets, which you can add to your image with a single click. The filters that are used to create the preset you have chosen are automatically enabled in the Filters pane. On this toolbar, you'll find some useful retouch tools. Red Eye, Spot Repair and Crop and Straighten. Let's crop and straighten this photo. To straighten it, I can just drag the angle slider. Or, I could choose the straighten tool and then click and drag to draw the new horizon on the photo. To crop, I can either select an aspect ratio from the drop down list or simply drag the crop handles and move the grid to customise the crop region myself. To finish the crop, click Accept. The great thing about PhotoFix is that if you apply a combination of filters or customise a favourites preset, you can save the filter profile for future use. For example, I'll apply the sepia preset and then adjust the colour of the tint. I'll also apply a lens vignette filter and adjust those settings too. To save this filter combination, click the Save button. Type a name for this new filter profile and click OK. Now, over on the Favourites tab, you can see that the profile has been added. This profile will now be available whenever I open PhotoFix. It will enable me to apply this particular filter combination to other photos quickly and easily, without having to apply the individual settings each time. I've finished adjusting my photo, so I'll click OK. My photo, with the Photo Fix adjustments applied, has appeared in the workspace and can be edited further if required. On the Layers tab, you can see that Photo Plus has added a new layer and named it Photo Fix. You can hide and display the layer by clicking the Hide Show Layer icon. If you want to edit the Photo Fix filters, simply double click the layer to reopen the Photo Fix dialog. Before we finish, I'll show you how to apply Photo Fix filters to selected areas of an image using a mask. I want to apply a black and white filter to the background of this image, but keep the figures and the kite in colour. I'm going to create the mask first, so I'll select the mask brush. By default, I'm in select mode. This means I can select the areas to which I want to apply the filter by painting them. If I chose protect mode instead, I would paint the areas that I wanted to protect from the filter. Now, I can just paint over the areas that I want to make black and white. The parts of the photo marked in green are selected, 
and any filters I apply will be applied to those areas only. I'm happy with my masked area, but before I accept it, I'm going to apply a slight feathered edge. This will give a more blended edge to my selection. Great! To finish, I'll just click Accept. Now, if I apply a black and white filter, you can see that this is applied only to the area I selected. Once you've created a mask, you can use it on any filter you apply to your image. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the PhotoFix environment and that it's inspired you to experiment with some of your own photos. For more information, see the Help, the How To tab, or the other online tutorials. Thanks for watching!